A new CDC study finds a big jump in the number of children with autism. Information from just over a year ago estimated 1 in 68 children had autism. The new number is 1 in 45. Channel 2's Carol Sparge talked to a parent and experts who said the new numbers need to be taken with caution. Which one hops and lives in the Arctic? Snowbank. That's right, Nathan. You can have a point. Seven-year-old Nathan is learning about okay. Arctic animals at the Marcus Autism Center. His mom says when he was younger, she thought he was just quiet. I think denial was a big part of it. At four, she had him diagnosed and learned he has autism. He spends about 20 hours a week here, where the focus is on learning and socializing. Norrin Redding isn't so sure that suddenly one in 45 kids has autism. One in 45, I don't know. Um, I think that's a very kind of tight window. I think there's other things going on, but because it kind of, the child does this, oh, it must be that. The biggest thing to take away is that autism is not blood pressure, right? We do not have one clear number that can be easily tested by many people, health professionals out there. Associate Professor Chris Gunter says she believes the number of children with autism is closer to one in 68, which the CDC previously reported. A co-author of the study says parents may have changed the way they labeled their kids based on the way questions were done. Whatever the numbers, Gunter says more kids need to be diagnosed earlier, closer to two, rather than the average age of five. She does believe the number of children with autism has increased in the last 20 years because of less stigma, more diagnosis, and a broader definition of what it is. Noreen says she is definitely noticing improvements in her son from coming regularly to this language learning center. And there is a wide spectrum for children with autism. Some have trouble with social interactions. Some have a tendency to have repetitive behavior. Live in the newsroom, Carol Sparge, Channel 2, Action News.